Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to share two things with you. One, why did I choose the Fnatic CSL Direct Drive Ready to Race Bundle over other racing wheel packages like the Mos R3 or the Camus wheel? And two, what my purchasing experience was like with Fnatic. A quick disclaimer before we start the video, this video is not sponsored. Everything related to the wheel, including the wheel that I got, I paid with my own money. I use it on the daily myself on my own personal computer. So all these views are my own and they are as honest as I can make them. Let's begin. So let's start with the first question. Why did I choose Fnatic CSL Direct Drive Ready to Race Bundle? Well, things have changed, but at the time when I purchased it here in the United States back in April of 2024, it was the most bang for your buck option out of all the wheels. It was the cheapest system that was also known to be a very good system. At only $400, I was getting the 5 newton meter motor that is upgradable to 8 newton meters. The wheel looked good too. It was a full circle and the pedals looked fine and adjustable. So for the price, I feel I got a very good product and overall, it was a good deal. The second reason I chose Fnatic CSL DD Ready to Race Bundle is that they had been around the longest, in my view, out of the others. I'll be honest and say that Moza to me looked better and is also functionally more modern. For example, their built-in pull and release system to take the wheel on and off easily and quickly is a newer and far better system than the screw on and off system. With CSL, you have to spend more money to get that wheel attachment that allows you to quickly and easily take the wheel on and off the same way as Moza does. But having said that, Fnatic is a more reliable product in my view and has way more options than Moza. Not to mention, Moza systems are also priced higher than Fnatic. Only recently, when I was making this video and doing some research, did Moza drop their price for the R3 to an attractive $400. But it's still weaker than the CSL Direct Drive Ready to Race bundle because the R3 is only 3.8 or 9 newton meters, while the base level CSL DD Ready to Race comes with 5 newton meter, and this one can also be upgraded to 8 newton meters, while the Moza R3 to my knowledge anyway, cannot. So again, I was getting more for my money with Fnatic and therefore Fnatic was the obvious choice because they've been around longer, they offer a good deal and not to mention they have an ecosystem built in already that has evolved that gives you the freedom to try many different wheels and attachments out in the future. But Moza wasn't the only competitor here. When compared to Camus, for example, it's even more obvious why the CSL DD is better. Camus has almost no customizability, but I have to say the Camus price makes it a really good option. At the time of making this video, the Camus C5 bundle, which is their base level direct drive system with 5 Nm force feedback, is only $329. That is amazing. The reason why I didn't choose Camus is purely aesthetic. I just didn't like the pedals that it comes with nor did I like the look of the steering wheel. And specifically, I didn't really like the paddle shifters in the back of the steering wheel. They're so tiny that I felt it would take you a lot of getting used to to find them behind the steering wheel. They're like almost invisible. In the end, I preferred the customizability, the compatibility with games, and the look of the wheel for the Fnatic CSL Direct Drive. Lastly, and the third reason why I chose the CSL Direct Drive system is its compatibility. This relates to the last point I just made about Fnatic having more experience and being around longer, because with Fnatic CSL DD, you're getting a tried and true product. No surprises here. You get a good wheel that works well with most games, period. The biggest thing that stopped me from getting the Moza was the countless threads online about how people cannot get it to work with Forza Horizon 5, for example. Now things have gotten better ever since and the more expensive models seem to have no issues anymore and most people seem to buy the R5 and that seems to have no issues. There's some hoops you have to go through but it worked. But Forza is what I play the most and I didn't want my wheel to be something that I have to like finagle and work on for a long time to get it to finally work with the game that I play the most. I want my wheel to work with the game, period, from the word go. And I don't want to make any compromises on that. So in the end, the decision was very simple. Cheaper, fully circular wheel, great for drifting, customization options for cosmetics and performance, like going up to eight newton meters, a more experienced system that has been put through its paces, and a pretty big online community for when you run into trouble. There's always someone else that can help you fix a problem you might encounter. So in the end, 
pretty easy decision to go with the Fnatic CSL DD for me. Now let me tell you about the purchasing experience here in the United States. Fnatic has been in a lot of trouble due to the delayed delivery issues of the past years. So how are they doing in 2024? Well, I'm in New York and I placed my order online on April 11th. I got my equipment after 18 days on April 29th. And that sounds like a lot of time because it is, but it was fine for me because I knew from the get go when I ordered it, that it'll take about a month for me to get it. When I placed the order, Fnatic's website stated that the wheel bundle would not be available until later. They didn't give a specific date when it would be, but they were just like, upon availability, it will be delivered or whatever. It was very vague, but I was hoping that it would just arrive in, within a month. In the end, actually, my bundle came earlier than I expected. In fact, I was using my Logitech D29 wheel till the very day that I got the Fnatic system in the mail. The presentation was great. They sent a European and an American version of the power brick, which I was like, oh, wow. Now I got two, which is generous because if you think about it, you just have to buy an adapter and you can make the European one work with your US outlets pretty easily. And the adapters cost like five bucks. Out of the box, everything was good. And as expected, everything worked perfectly when I plugged it in, no issues whatsoever. I'm still very happy with the purchase two months later. Now I know Fnatic is still going through a tough time on the business management side of things. And all I can say is, that I hope it gets better for them because the product feels solid and I like to see them stay in business. I love my CSL Direct Drive so far and I hope it keeps working for me the way it has been because I intend to keep the system for a long time. So there you have it. Let me know what you think about this and if you have any comments or questions, post them down below and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.